Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Dime One, and I am back with another video. Yesterday, TMZ Sports reported that LeBron James' home in LA was severely vandalized, and there were racial slurs painted, spray painted all over the wall. Okay, and LeBron James could have done like some people would have clapped back, called these individuals cowards, this, that, and a third, really take this in a negative way. But instead, LeBron James uh, took this to a lot of reporters in a recent playoff interview, particularly talking about the finals. He talked about the event and basically said in a nutshell that as an African-American, it really doesn't matter how much influence you have, how successful you are, or even how wealthy you are. Ultimately, you're always going to experience racism, okay? Uh, me personally, I took that as very motivated. I took it as very empowering. Uh, it was a very bold speech and everyone I suggest everyone to take a listen to LeBron James' comments about what went down at his L.A. mansion. Now, uh, a lot of people were applauding LeBron James. And the next day, out of all the individuals that's going to speak about this in a negative light, Jason Whitlock wobbles his tail on the Colin Cowherd's show, basically want to talk about the recent, uh, the recent news surrounding LeBron James' home. Now, basically, Jason Whitlock, 500 pounds of him, he sat on the couch, the couch tilted. He's 500 pounds, a little head, and even a small, a smaller fedora, okay? That's the type of individual Jason Whitlock is, okay? It didn't surprise me of the stuff, the trash that was filtering out of his mouth. Basically, in a nutshell, he talked about the LeBron James incident, and he also talked about how LeBron James, this incident about LeBron James, how he, LeBron James himself says, it felt like Emmett Tillman all over again. Now, for those out there who do not know who Emmett Tillman is, he was a 14-year-old black boy. Uh, he lived in Mississippi, and a white couple was walking down the street, and a whistle, someone whistled at the white man's wife. He turned around. He believed that it was Emmett Tillman. And he, as well as his half-brother, brutally murdered Emmett Tillman. Okay? This was a hate crime. Okay? Uh, the true definition of a hate crime. It was later found out, which everyone knew, that the boy didn't even whistle at his wife. They wanted to brutally murder this young boy, okay? They just wanted to have a reason to do this. Now, if that would have transpired with a, a man and they happened to walk down the street and the man whistles at his wife, you wouldn't have gotten that response, okay? There would basically, no hands would have been thrown and they would have basically kept things moving alone. They really don't want that type of drama with an adult, okay? Uh, they really wanted to uh, send a message to the African-American community. It was a hate crime through and through. And LeBron James feels like uh, the stuff he's going through, he can relate to the family of Emmett Tillman. He understands what they had to adore and go through. But Jason Whitlock did not see this, okay? Basically, Jason Whitlock described... Uh, as far as Emmett Tillman go, he described that incident as it had nothing to do with race. It was not about it wasn't about a hate crime. It was a crime, but it was a crime because since the city that this went down is had a poor economic level, it was a poor city. He viewed this as this is what poor people go through. He also added, he also threw some flames at LeBron James, basically saying that uh, people like LeBron James that are already well established, that are extremely wealthy, that has plenty of influence and highly successful, uh, they can, or they can uh, pretty much deal with racism. Racism shouldn't bother rich people, okay? It really does affect poor people, okay? That's what Jason Whitlock is saying, and now Jason Whitlock is blowing up like a dumpster fire on 
social media, okay? I'm going to share my two cents about this particular subject, but before we begin, let me tell you guys about Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock is the same reporter when he was on ESPN, said some very shameful comments about Serena Williams. Basically, he called Serena Williams fat, and Serena Williams was never going to win a netto title. Now, after that article, Serena Williams dominated. She won several titles. Serena Williams is the top five athlete, male or female, of all time, okay? Uh, That's how successful Serena Williams is. Now, Jason Whitlock is the same individual when uh, that went down with uh, LeVar LeVar Ball, Christian Leahy. Uh, I do agree both of them took it a little bit too far, tit for tat, but he really went all out his way to defend Christian Leahy, all right? Uh, Basically, uh, LeVar Ball's uh, father, he did take it a little bit too far saying, stay in your lane. But there was a reason behind this madness because Christian Leahy basically called the relationship between the father and the sons. Uh, he, she feels like the sons are afraid of his of their father, okay? And that's why these two are beefing with one another, okay? Now, a typical reporter would have just looked at this and said, hey, yo, you two guys clearly have issues with one another, and there were things that not only shouldn't have been said by you, Christian Leahy, Leahy, but as well as you, LeVar Ball, and we just move on from there, okay? Uh, Jason Whitlock is quick to defend the people that really don't need a defense from him. Kristen Leahy, really, she really doesn't need any type of support or any type of defense from Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock is quick to defend these individuals, but he will never, ever, 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 ever defend the African-American community like the way he defends countless others, okay? Uh, this is the reason why Jason Whitlock is no longer working at ESPN. His comments got himself in plenty hot water where ultimately ESPN, the corporation, pretty much fired Jason Whitlock, okay? Now, Jason Whitlock is on to Fox and be careful what you wish for, Fox. You wanted a show, you wanted uh, anchors and reporters that were controversial. Controversial. Uh, you wanted reporters that uh, pushed the line. You wanted reporters to be uh, to be highly motivated on real serious topics and share their opinions on. You wanted this type of style. And there's a reason why Colin Cowherd, Skip Bayless, and yes, Jason Whitlock are no longer working for ESPN. ESPN do not want radicals in their uh, community, all right? And now Fox have to deal with these uh, individuals. Now, me personally, there's going to be huge backlash. Yes, the ratings are going to come in for Fox, but there's going to be a huge backlash to the African-American community on what Jason Whitlock says. And ultimately, Fox has to address this, okay? I know Fox uh, Sports is pretty much in bed with Fox News. It's the same corporation and they like uh they like their anchors and their analysts to be highly heated highly controversial they like that type of animal they like that type of situation but uh they're dealing with something that could backfire with them with Jason Whitlock in his recent comments about LeBron James and the African American community and plus Emmett Tillman okay uh, we're going to have to wait how this transpire in the next few months. But guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. Please hit that notification bell on my YouTube page so you'll be informed when my next video or live stream is going down. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One. And I am out.